what's going on you guys it's Aaron Fork Scott and shooting this video this quick video because I wanted to share with you um some value I wanted to give you some ways that you can trade in the market if you're brand new I welcome you to the journey you are not alone um plug into a team like our team the winning circle team inside of one of the best platforms educational platforms that's teaching people how to take back control of their investments therefore allowing their money to make money for them but of course it is a language it is a foreign language it is learning a new skill set but this is the most valuable language or the most valuable skill set that you can possess and once you know it once you have it once you own it nobody can take it from you i know some people may be brand new they may not know exactly what they're looking for in the charts they may think that um it is a a, a huge hurdle to get over or you may need a whole bunch of money to make money in the markets and that is not the case we was kind of taught in a sense as since we were kids on how to find patterns um, numbers and areas to where we can see a resistance or support anything in life you will have some type of resistance and of course you will look for some type of support your support is usually your floor that's what you stand on your resistance is usually something that stops you from moving forward which can be a ceiling so in the market we teach people how to find support resistance levels we teach people how to trade based off of the fundamentals market structure, trend analysis, things like that. But in this video, I'm going to share with you one pattern, one of many patterns that you can see in the market. And once you understand the pattern, once you can see the pattern with plain eye, it'll start to pop out like 3D. And once you see it, you can base your trade off of the pattern itself, therefore putting you into profit and allowing you to make money based off the money that you have in your broker's account we don't putting we're not teaching people to put money in a bank account so that money can collect dust we're actually teaching people how to can take back control of their investments don't allow the banks to rob you and take or well, not take your money but they're making money off of your hard-earned money and they're not getting you're not getting anything from that so instead of putting money in a bank account we're trying to show people how they can take that same amount of money put it in a broker's account and now you can have control inside of the foreign exchange market, therefore allowing your money to make money for you 24 seven. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you a pattern called the head and shoulders pattern. And in the chart, what you're looking at right now, it is a plain view of a head and shoulders pattern. And I'm gonna share with you that pattern just a sec. I'm gonna go ahead and draw it out for you. Now, if you're brand new or if you're, um, not into forex like that and you're looking at the chart and if you can see the pattern already you're already um way ahead of the game you just got to kind of jump off the edge allow your wings to spread that way you can soar within the market this is a skill set you should own the skill set therefore you can pass it down to your kids for generations to come this is something that we were never taught in school this is something that was held from us because it is some, similar to some of the secrets that some of the wealthy people hold from the um, regular, normal nine to five um, workers within our economy, within our world. But now that we have the internet, now we have platforms like the platform I'm involved with, you can plug in, you can utilize your phone or computer, you can go through a class setting study group within our study group and learn how to trade stocks forex indices commodities metals like gold and silver cryptocurrencies things of that nature therefore you can make money at will so this head and shoulders pattern i'm gonna draw it out for you so you can see what it looks like <clears throat> now of course your head is your peak you have a peak val you have peaks and valleys the market will give you a peak which is here notice you have an ultimate high this can also be considered a resistance level because notice the market came all the way up to this level and for some reason when it got to this level here at point nine seven zero 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 for some reason it stopped it resisted at this level and it came all the way back down now if this is your head what do you think your shoulders are you have a shoulder here and you have a shoulder here so if you look at the chart you have a head and you have two shoulders. Whenever you see a head and shoulder pattern forming, it can give you a good indication that a trend is about to reverse. Now, this is a bad way to do it, so I'm gonna erase these real quick. And I'm going to use the tool. So here you have a shoulder. 
Here's your head. And here's your other shoulder here. So when you have these patterns and they form on the chart, there is a good indication that you can predict where the market is going. Now, there's no crystal ball. Um, you want to analyze it as much as possible. You want to get extra confirmations. We have a whole bunch of other tools that we utilize for confirmations, such as the 20 pips and dip within TradingView and the perfect entry trading system within our team um, alone. So when you see a peak or if you see resistance, you usually should put a resistance line. That way it'll show you that whenever the market gets to this area, it may stop or you may get some sort of reaction. Now notice here, it broke through this resistance line, but it didn't stay above it long. It came right that below that resistance line and came to this area and it stopped. Once it stopped, just like it stopped here, it came back down and it stopped here. So you can use this as your floor. So now you have a ceiling and now you have a floor. Your floor is your support. Your ceiling is your support and res I mean your resistance. So now you have your support and your resistance areas. You have a potential shoulder here. You have a potential head here. So if this was to be a head and shoulders pattern, we wouldn't look for the market to go up. So you should not be trading until you get the confirmation. The confirmation is a full head and shoulders pattern. So look at what happened in the market. The market started to consolidate within that zone and it shot all the way up to the T, to the T from where this previous resistance what happens in the past can normally happen again in the future. So notice here, it came to your resistance. This is your shoulder. It broke through your resistance. Usually when you get a breakthrough, uh, your ceiling or your resistance, you will look for a retest of it using it as a floor. If it wanted to continue upward, it would have used this as a floor. It would have bounced and made a higher high, but it did not do that. It broke through and came right back below. So now you're still in the zone of your ceiling and your floor. So you're just waiting for price to give you full confirmation of what it wants to do in the future. So notice price comes back up to your previous resistance area and it stopped. It stalled. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see how much it stalled. Not only did it stall, it gave you a, a whole bunch of price action candles. Look how big these candles are compared to these little small candles. It is resisting. It is holding at this resistance level. And once you got here, you will also notice that it completed your head and your shoulders pattern. You have your shoulder, you have a head, and you have your other shoulder here. When you see this and you see all of this consolidation and you circle in it and you're noticing that it's a head and shoulders pattern based off of this resistance area, you could have sold this market all the way back down. Back down and it's currently back down at support as we speak. So you could have rolled this trade from here on down, it's well over 130 pips from zone to zone. So the main goal is not to just jump in the market. The main goal is to see what the market is telling you. Therefore, you are translating the foreign language that is on the chart, translating it, and you can take advantage of the language because you know what the charts are telling you. Yes, it is a foreign language, but it's the language of money. And once you understand these patterns, this is a head and shoulders pattern. There's many other patterns that we're going to reveal in the near future to not only the team, but to some of you guys in the public, just to get you um, informed of how easy this really can be. You don't have to be a guru. You don't have to be great to start. You just got to start in order to be great. So when you see certain patterns like this lining up and you see a shoulder, you see a peak, which is now a head, and you see the market come right back up to that same level where your left shoulder was. Now you have a potential right shoulder, and you can sell it because you know if it's at this resistance level again, and it's not breaking above 
like it did here, you can expect price to come back down. And if it's going down in the foreign exchange market, you can sell the market. And while it's going down, you are in profit. It is not in comparison. I know a lot of people are just becoming awake and they're getting their eye open to a lot of opportunities, being that they are home. A lot of people are starting to get into the stock market and things like that. But if you had a border stock in this area, when it goes down, you lose value. You cannot make money in the stock market when it goes down. The only way you can make money trading in the market when a market goes down is if you're trading it in the foreign exchange market, the Forex market. That is why the Forex market is the most lucrative market of the seven markets. The stock market accumulates about $54 billion a day. The Forex market accumulates about six to seven trillion dollars a day. It is the most lucrative financial market in the world. So when you see certain situations like this and certain patterns that line up like this head and shoulders pattern, and you notice that it's creating the, the last shoulder or the right shoulder, depending on how you're looking at it, left to right, if it's creating a right shoulder and it's stalling at previous shoulders resistance, you can have a good indication that the price will continue to go downward. And that's exactly what happened. So hopefully uh, in this video, you learned something new, which is a head and shoulders pattern. And hopefully now that you're trading in the market or if you're just getting started, these patterns will start to stick out and you will be able to utilize these patterns to get yourself in a trade that is going to put you in a profit, therefore building your account, therefore building your financial freedom for years, years, and generations to come. So hopefully you learned something from this video. I'll see you in the next one.